Hi, I'm David Starr from Lincoln County Planning Commission. I am the GIS data manager here. Today we're going to demonstrate how the augmented reality sandbox works. The AR sandbox physically creates topographical models which are then scanned to the computer in real time and the output is used as a background for a variety of effects and simulations. There's two ways that you can add water in the sandbox. One is you can place your hand over an area and it will start adding water. You can see right here it added water in this location. Second, you could add water from the software. Wherever you place your mouse, you can press a button and it'll start adding water. You can see it adding at the top of that hill right there. Uh, you can also do it, you can add water everywhere. dry it up. So what's neat about that is you can probably see is the water flows with the contour lines. What's beneficial for this is you can model flood plains, uh, you can model uh, watersheds, so you can put together a nice simulation for a user so they know where the flood plate's going to go on their property. So we did a demonstration of a dam breach. This is uh, Newton Lake. Um, you can see we filled up the water over here to simulate the lake and then over here in this area is going to be our village. So when you make a breach in the dam, you're going to see the water start pouring down into the village. You can see here that there's three main components going on. First, the BenQ projector. The BenQ projector is short range, meaning that you can put the projector at a short distance from the sandbox. Secondly is the Kinetic Xbox 360 3D camera. And third is a good laptop. So you need to have an i7 processor a good amount of RAM. We're running 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it runs all uh, the software runs through Linux Mint 17, um, and it's all command line driven.